The government of Rwanda and the World Bank today signed a 30 million US dollars financing agreement, approximately 29 billion Rwanda francs, to support the COVID-19 emergency response project. Dr. Uziel Ndajijimana, the Minister of Finance and Economic Planning, and Roland Price, the country manager of the World Bank in Rwanda, signed on behalf of their respective institutions. Earlier, we spoke to Ms. Roland Price, the World Bank country manager, about today's events. The U.S. $30 million financing agreement that was signed earlier today will support the Republic of Rwanda in the implementation of its national deployment and vaccination plan. Mm. This plan was developed late last year in response to the COVID-19 crisis when it was determined that vaccinations were going to be sort of the way to go. Specifically, the project will finance the acquisition and deployment of safe and effective COVID-19 vaccines, mm. and it will look at health system strengthening also to address what we are seeing as some emerging needs, such as improving access to oxygen therapy, mm. screening for underlying chronic health conditions, and protecting essential health services. Mm. Finally, uh, there is a portion of this financing that will also be focused on bolstering the capacity of the routine immunization system mm. through investments in human resources, vaccine safety and vaccination coverage monitoring, as well as outreach activities and communications programs to sustain vaccine acceptance and uptake. Absolutely. Um, and part of this uh, financing agreement, part of the money, part of it is a grant, and I believe the rest of it is a loan. What influenced this decision? Well, this is the modus in which we interact with the government. And when I say we, I mean the World Bank, mm -hmm. IDA, the International Development Association. The government of Rwanda is eligible to receive resources from the International Development Association, mm. and those resources are 50% grant and 50% highly concessional loan. And those loans often come with World Bank support, technical assistance, to design operations, to implement policies, etc. cetera. Mm. The COVID-19 pandemic was an unexpected and significant shock that evolved, as you know, from being a health crisis to a significant economic crisis mm. due to the effects of lockdown and social, distances, social distancing protocols. All of this really slowed economic activity. No government was prepared, and even with excellent planning as there was here, mm. there were significant financial costs involved. The World Bank wanted to respond quickly to this, given the nature of the emergency. And our target was very much to get money to the ground fast for those governments that needed it. So the bank made resources available. Mm. In some cases, resources additional to existing country allocations yeah. to address the immediate health, social and economic response to COVID-19. Totally. And uh, this grant, is it going to help um, g secure vaccines that were already part of the COVAX scheme, or is this totally a different uh, arrangement? Ah, uh, This grant actually supports... COVAX will bring, essentially, up to 20% of the vaccines to the country. Mm -hmm. But the, the government still has to play for the deployment of those vaccines, right? They have to move them around the country. They have to ensure that they get into people's arms. They have to be stored, et cetera. So this grant covers the deployment oh. of the 20% of the vaccines from COVAX, mm. and it covers the acquisition and deployment of an additional 10% of vaccines. I see. You know the government's target is 60%, and so this grant will cover 30%. I see. Um, and in terms of economic development, um, how significant would you say this is in Rwanda's economic development and even recovery post the pandemic? Well, you know that the vaccines are seen very much as the way for governments around the world to normalize, to ensure that economic activity sort of continues to pick up. And that will be essential for any recovery to take place. Mm. What is very significant is that the government has developed this plan for national vaccine deployment. And it is a critical piece of the overall COVID-19 emergency response plan. Mm. So these resources are going to help, as I mentioned, with the first 
30% or vaccines covering 30% of the population, it will help to finance the government's health response. And hopefully then we can start to move around the country normally. But this is not the whole picture Mm. because the government also has an economic recovery plan that covers many different dimensions to protect poor people and the most vulnerable to permit students to recover from the learning losses, to restore people's livelihoods, jobs, access to health care, and to help enterprises and industries like the tourism sector to regain a solid footing. Mm-hmm. And in all of those dimensions, the World Bank is also a partner. Okay.